Hey guys, Shane again with OBQs, creators of the DigiQ. In this video, we are going to show how to install the DigiQ into one of the rubber housings. I have selected the larger rubber housing because I primarily play pool. And so we have the rubber housing here. We have our DigiQ right here. Now you'll notice on the DigiQ there is a power switch. That's the power switch right there under my finger. That power switch needs to be aligned with the circle right here. That's the, what we call the power button circle. Now, I'm actually going to get a flashlight so you guys can see. If you look inside there, you can see that the DigiQ has been molded on the inside. You can see there's a little cutaway section. We've done that so that you actually can't install the DigiQ incorrectly. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the part that's been... Oh, my flashlight's rolling away. The part that has been, uh, that I showed you that was cut away, is for this little uh, black plastic piece on here. So if you install the DigiQ, what I like to do is as opposed to trying to line the power switch up with the circle, I look at the little notch that's cut away and I try and line this piece up, the part right here that's basically holding the battery clip in, line that up with the part that's notched out. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide it in there. You can kind of work, work, kind of work it down slowly. Once you do that, you want to push down. You hear it kind of click into place. And that's it. The DigiQ is now installed. I can go ahead and push the power button circle to make sure that the power switch is lined up. And if it is, you're going to hear it vibrate. So let's try that. And there you go. One DigiQ installed in one custom rubber housing. Uh, check out the next video or a selection of videos for other uh, questions that you may have about the DigiQ. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.